Welcome to iLecture Online. To show you that it really doesn't matter what the order of eigenvalues and eigenvectors are, we're going to do the same videos we did in the previous one, but this time what we called eigenvalue 1 is now eigenvalue 2, and what we called eigenvalue 2 is now eigenvalue 1. And of course, we also exchanged the eigenvectors so that we have the corresponding eigenvalues and eigenvectors in the same location but it should not make any difference. We should still be able to find the diagonalization of our original matrix and get the exact same result. Of course, in the previous video, we had the minus one up there and the three down there, so we should get this result when we go ahead and work it out. Remember that we can also find the diagonalization by taking the matrix A and sandwiching it between the P and the P inverse matrix, where the P matrix is defined as the eigenvectors. So this is now going to be equal to, and eigenvector 1 is 1, 1, and eigenvector 2 is 2, 1. Now we also need to find the inverse, P inverse, which is going to be equal to 1 over the what we call determinant, and so not to confuse it with the diagonal, I'm going to put little quotation marks around it, times this matrix with the ones exchange. Of course, that doesn't make any difference. We simply exchange it this way, and then these become negative, a negative one and a negative two. Now the determinant of this, the D, like this, is equal to the product of those two, which is equal to one times one, minus the product of those two, which is 1 times 2, which is equal to 1 minus 2 or minus 1. Okay, to compensate for that, we can then say that P inverse is equal to minus 1 times this. I'm just simply going to change all the signs. Minus 1, minus 1, 2, and 1. That compensates for the 1 over negative 1 there. Now we can go ahead and calculate the diagonalized matrix D, which is equal to the inverse of p times a times p, which is going to be one, minus two, 1 and 1. The a matrix, negative, negative five, 4 and 7. And then the p matrix, which is right here. All right, now let's go ahead and work that out and see if we get the same result. This is equal to, multiplying these out, you get 5 minus 8, that's minus 3, minus 8 plus 14 would be plus 6, minus 5 plus 4 is a minus 1, 8 minus 7 is 1, and we multiply that times the remaining matrix 1, 2, 1, 1, and if we multiply this together, we should get this result. Let's see if we do. We get minus 3 plus 6 is a positive 3, a minus 6 plus 6 is 0, a minus 1 plus 1 is 0, and a minus 2 plus 1 is a minus 1. And sure enough, that looks exactly the same, which shows that it really doesn't matter what the order of eigenvalues or eigenvectors is, this method will always work. And that's how we can prove that.